Charles Raison. I'm on the steering committee for the U.S. Psych Congress, and I'm here today with Dr. Tim Willens from Harvard. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having so, me. So, uh, you're giving a great talk about ADHD today. Talk to us a little bit about what DSM-5 means uh, for changing diagnostic criteria for ADHD. Well, it's really interesting. The DSM-5 is actually really going to affect adult ADHD more than child ADHD. So a few things that it's going to do that really I think is going to make it a little bit easier to make the diagnosis of ADHD or the full diagnosis I should say as opposed to one of these qualified diagnoses of ADHD not otherwise specified. A few things notable. First, the symptoms are essentially the same as the DSM-IV so people don't have to relearn symptoms. What's going to change is that if you're 17 years of age or older you don't need six of nine in a ten of symptoms or six of nine hyperactive impulsive you only need five of nine so they're relaxing it by one symptom number two the age of onset it used to be you had to have the age of onset of some symptoms before the age of seven and that's now been moved to age 12. Huh. Now, why that's important is many adults have difficulty remembering, oh, sure. you know, back to first or second grade. And then the last issue that's important in terms of adult ADHD is that the impairment is, doesn't have to be rel uh, an absolute impairment of functionality that you're not doing well, absolutely, but it's functional in terms of a relative impairment. Yeah. And what that means is you're not doing as well as you could have done. Yeah, if you didn't have those symptoms. Exactly. And then the one comment I would make for child ADHD is that now for child ADHD you can have an Asperger's or what's now autistic spectrum disorders and have ADHD. They're not mutually exclusive. You can have both disorders. And, and these are sort of based on research findings over the last 10 years? These are based on research findings and I think that they're a real positive move forward to help make more accurate diagnosis uh, and help to the adult practitioner make the diagnosis of adult ADHD. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Fascinating. Glad you're at Congress. Uh, thank you.